Oracle Database 23C developer release is now available for free on the Oracle website. You can use this build to test out some of the new features that will be available in the full release and also see how they can improve your development. In this episode, let's take a look at what's new for JSON schemas. A JSON schema is a JSON document that specifies allowed properties and the corresponding allowed data types and whether they are optional or mandatory. A JSON schema can be used to check data in application code, for instance, prior to sending it to the database, which can provide earlier detection of invalid data. This provides more resilient applications and reduces potential system downtime and the need to clean up bad data. There are multiple ways in which you can validate JSON data against the JSON schema. For instance, the condition is JSON or is not JSON with a keyword validate. We will be taking a look at this condition a bit later in the video. We can also use a domain as a check constraint or various PL SQL functions. First, in our example, let us create our table. By using the condition is JSON, or is not JSON, with the keyword validate, we can test whether the targeted data is valid or invalid against our schema. And once the table has been created, let's insert some documents. Right now, our J purchase order table only has a constraint that checks that the document we are inserting is indeed a JSON. Now let's take a look at how the validation is performed. The schema can be provided as a literal string or an application usage domain. The keyword validate can optionally be followed by the keyword using. As you can see, this example works even if our table was created without any schema validation check constraint. Now let's also add a maximum number for the PO number and see what kind of result we get. Here is also an example of how we can use the SQL domains to perform the same validation. If you're interested in learning more about all the possible types of validation at your disposal, make sure to check out the documentation on screen. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you found the information useful. If you're interested, you can download the Database 23C developer release for free from the Oracle website. And please make sure to also check community.oracle.com if you have any questions or if you just want to chat with us. Please don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in seeing more. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Happy coding!